Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's always good to get a win, but, you know, we got a lot of different, I guess, occasions tonight, so, yeah. When you see a, when you see a team that is making a lot of the try to make that high, that low percentage play with the slam dunks and try to go for the highlight, do you kind of use that to help your guys just maybe take that step, just keeping it basic and maybe using that as an advantage for your guys? Yeah, we uh, were attacking. Our bigs played really well today, and we knew coming to this game that um, South Carolina State was very talented. But I thought we uh, we played well on both ends, but not not the first half, but the second half we came around and and grinded out stops, which helped us a lot. Uh, this uh, South Carolina State team lost to Kansas State by two, then a week later lost, lost to Bethune-Cookman by like 16. You know, given that kind of inconsistency and, unpre and unpredictability for you guys, like while you were doing preparation for it, were they a little difficult to kind of scout? Actually, don't necessarily know what team you're going to be getting. I mean, I wouldn't say that. You know, we, we treat every team the same. We, you know, that's a talented team over there. Obviously, going into Kansas State and losing by two, um, we we were familiar with that because we were very inconsistent last year. You know, like we would go to GW and lose by thirty, and then play GW here and win by twenty. You know, so we can't really take those things into consideration because every night, you know, you got to come out and play no matter who you're playing against. They shot uh, they shot fifty percent from the field in the first half. They made six of their nine threes. Was uh, was that kind of one of those? Uh, you know, was No, uh, we, we didn't contest shots very well in that first half. Um, I think the stat was they were shooting 20% on um, contested shots or shots that we contested well and shots that we contested poorly, they were shooting 100%. So that was the biggest difference right there. And I thought in the second half, we picked that up. Jeremiah, you were talking about the uh, inconsistencies with what South Carolina State showed and how that was you guys maybe a year ago. Does that show you guys how far you guys have come so far in the season, being able to find some consistent play and getting some wins? Um, yeah, I think so. We've become a more stable program, uh, definitely more consistent because we're older now. You know, in the past, I think we didn't really know how to win. But, you know, now we, we understand what we need to do to win, and I think that's helping us. I think it was tied 49-49 in the second half. You guys went on something like a 16-6 run. I think there were four, you guys were forced, I think, four turnovers and a bunch of missed shots. Does that stretch kind of say something about this team, be able to you know, put together a six-minute stretch like that when you need it? Yeah, Coach, talk about on defense a lot, uh, get kills, get stops, get three in a row. So we had like three, we had three kills that time. We went on a 6-0 run. So Coach, is main, he maintained, he could say, keep playing D, keep getting stops. And could test all their shots hard, and they couldn't score at the end. All night, it seemed they were trying to get that alley oop play to work. Either a, did you feel like they were trying to go for style points, whatever they should have been going for, uh, just regular baskets? And do you think Coulter's uh, assist to Powell might have broken them? after they finally got it to work halfway through the second? Uh, no, I think that's just how they play. They don't really try to go for style points. I, they run a lot of different stuff. Um, when we practice um, defending their sets, like we talked about a lot of lob plays, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say they try to go for style points. That's just what their coach tells them to run. you know. But um, I mean, we have athletes as well. And it's not really, we don't have lob plays, but we have the ability to throw lobs. So, you know, I think, DC just made a good pass and Todd made a play. That's all. Uh, you know, from a, a mental standpoint, Derek, um, what was the night like? Uh, like tonight, like you know, obviously being so focused on the, on the so one game here, but you know, kind of on a different note, knowing that you have something so life changing kind of happening tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, it was. I was very hyper in the beginning. That's why I was I was throwing the dumb passes, dumb turnovers in the beginning of the game. But then I stopped, I settled down, calmed down. I just played my game, and we just got to win. Now, you had some uh, family members here tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I guess in a situation like that, you know, I don't know how often they get to see you play. Do you maybe try to maybe do, like, a little bit more? Do you try to kind of show out and maybe press things a bit? 
Nah, just, like nah, just play my game. They saw me. They see me a lot on TV, so they they used to me. I just play play my game.